and ready to test it. Ready when you are. All right. Uh, so for the past year or so, my brother has been doing skull work for clients around my local town of Fairview, Alberta. He gets skulls from clients such as his workers that he works for, his family, and uh, hunters in the area. He has any kind of, he takes any kind of skull in, such as this picture here. He has a uh, steer skull with a, actually a kitten skull inside. Uh, most of his skulls, he, uh, he takes, he bleaches them, and it gets a nice color like that. Uh, the process for doing that is usually soaking them for a while, getting them nice and soft, skinning them completely. Oh, I don't know where that goes. Uh, then he continues to soak them until they get down to the bare bone, mixes them in a peroxide and water mixture to bleach the skulls to be as white as possible. And then he's just recently starting to put them onto mounts and sell them to clients online. So these are, these are photos from his Instagram, if they decide to load or whatever. And um, hopefully you guys enjoy the photos. <laughs> uh, the process for getting the roadkill approved is he actually picks up roadkill from the sides of the roads, takes them to the local fish and wildlife. If the fish and wildlife approves of them, such as no human damage has been done, gunshots or anything like that, <coughs> they get approved. If there's no diseases on the animals, they get given back. He gets full control over the entire animal and he gets to do whatever he likes to them, which is like this usually. He has this done at um, a fr family friend's ranch. He has a dugout out there that he deals all the stuff in. What else? Yeah, so his favorite work so far has actually been this bear skull if it decides to load in. My friend shot that bear last summer and decided to give him the skull for $50 and then he'll give the money back once his skull has been completed, which it has been now in the photos. Coming, hopefully there it is. All the teeth have been pulled because they are just glued and stuck back in afterwards. He does pull the teeth out to clean the inside of the tooth canals as well. So that's about all I've got for today, unfortunately. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and thanks for the time. Any questions?